Hello everyone. Here we go with the next real time interview question in our Tosca series of interview questions. So basically the question is, the scenario is, uh, you have any web page loaded and uh, here you have to enter some random number of, some random value in the username section. How would you do that? So let me open Tosca and quickly show this. So basically I'll scan this module. And I'll select this page and I'll just take username quickly. So I'll save this and I will put this into a test case. Okay, so now our task is to input a list of in any random values here. Okay, so for that, what we can do is in this particular username section. We can put curly braces and here if you will type R and D, there is already a function which exists. Okay. So here if you see whatever values you type, if it is an acceptable value, then it is going to give you the syntax as well. So what the syntax is, you have to type R and D and then you have to put brackets and uh, then whatever the number of digits you want. So if I want five, I'll mention five here and I'll close this. Now, if you're using the inbuilt functions, if you click outside, it is going to display something like this. If it is not displaying like this, then there is a uh, issue in your syntax. Okay. Now, if I run this, it is going to input. Uh, just one second. Yeah. So since that page was not in focus, I have paused this and I'm just waiting it to be re-enabled. Okay. So see right now it has entered a random value 80039 so this is number of digits are 5 okay now let's say the question is uh, we want it to be like 10 or 20 okay so you can increase it accordingly here you click on this and if i mention 10 here then it is going to enter 10 digit random value okay now since this is random value these values would change every time in the execution so it is not certain that this value is going to be same whenever you are running this. It is always going to be different since it is random. Okay. Now let's say I do not want numbers since this is a username field. I want text here. Okay. So for text, what you can use is you can use random text. So if I update this, I'll put curly braces and here you write random and you will see random text is there and if I write random text and if I put one before it is going to give the syntax as well now whatever is the amount of characters I want to enter okay so I'll put text and then amount of characters let's say I want six and I'll close this okay. now if I run this it is going to enter text now the format which it is going to enter the format which it is going to enter is going to be uh, letters as well as numbers in case of random text so see here now we have got it populated a 7 x o a c or 0 a c okay so let's say this is a username and uh, the requirement is i do want to enter some random values but i do not want it to be numbers i only want it to be characters okay how would you handle that scenario so in that scenario you can use random regex okay random regular expression so how do we use it so you put random and then you put these brackets and you put two curly braces okay you close this now in case of regular expression the syntax goes is the starting point should be this particular icon okay and the ending is dollars okay now we have to mention what kind of value do i want Okay, so you can mention in square brackets, like let's say from A to Z and the number of characters is whatever you want. So that is going to be in curly braces. So six, let me explain this again. So you use random regex, then you close these brackets and then uh, you use curly braces and this particular is the starting point of regular expression. This is closing. Now this is what format you want it to be written out and this is the number of characters 
So let's see it in action. If I run this, it is going to type in six characters and that everything is going to be in between A to Z, capital A to Z. Okay. So let it get completed. So see here, uh, everything is in characters and everything from A to Z caps is there. Now let's say I want smaller as well. So you have the flexibility. I go in here and let's say I want, I add it here like this, small a to Z. Then it is going to use a combination of capital and small letters. Let's see that in action. Run this in scratch book. Okay, so see this is caps, this is small and everything is in letters. Okay. <coughs> now whenever random values are asked or if you want to just practice it out, there are a lot of different uh, functions available. So if you type curly braces and if you type R here, you will be able to see all the different uh, options Tosca makes is available for you. Random regex is there, random text is there. Uh, RND decimal is there in case you want to use decimal values and accordingly you can test it out. I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and do like, share and subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.